everyone welcome to my channel my name is Lisa and today I'm going to share with you what I purchased at Walmart and this is going to be for the week of January the 22nd I have uh, let's see fur babies I ended up spending $37.07 for household items I spent $41.48 and on food items, I spent $27.94. All right, well, let me go ahead and show you what I got. Let's start with fur babies. The first thing I got was this package of Busy Bones. This is 17 ounces. There's 30 of them. My Walmart has been out of these for quite some time, so I was really excited to pick these up. This was $7.92. And then for my kitty Tink, I got her some dry food. This is just regular fancy feast. It was $7.38. And last item is for our furry friends and feathered friends out back. This is a big bag of uh, nut and fruit blend. There's also some seeds in there as well. And this was $19.67. This is a huge bag. Moving on to some household items. The first thing that I got was some double A batteries. These were $2.96. Some triple A batteries, $2.18. Some Sudafed, just the Walmart brand, $5.98. There are 72 in here. I have been taking Sudafed daily. My allergies have been really bad since the beginning of last year. So Sudafed and then ibuprofen just the walmart brand this is ten dollars and 47 cents along with the sinus issues i've had i also have been experiencing uh, sinus headaches as well and then for moving i picked up some packing paper there are 50 sheets in here this was 497 and then i grabbed two of these packages of bubble wrap this is uh, 9.3 square feet. I got two of them, $1.96. I'm gonna use this to uh, secure my monitors. And last moving item are these small boxes. These were 73 cents a piece and I've grabbed four of them. And then also in the household category, I picked up this all laundry detergent. I forgot to write the price on it. Let's see, $4.74 for this small, uh, this all uh, small and mighty. This is a concentrated kind of uh, detergent. So those are all of the household and fur baby items. Now let me show you what I got for groceries. I grabbed two six packs of Dr. Pepper. I am going to try to drink a little bit less coffee. I signed up, my insurance has this weight loss program called Real Appeal. They sent me a food scale, a bathroom scale, some workout equipment, workout DVDs. It's a 12 month program. And I realized in tracking my food that I was drinking my calories, drinking a lot of coffee with a ton of coffee creamer. So I'm gonna try to cut back on coffee and instead have one Diet Coke uh, during the day to try to curtail my creamer habit. So those were $2.88 a piece. I was looking for Coke Zero because it has less sodium, but it was almost $4 for a six pack. And because I may not drink an entire bottle in one day, sometimes it takes me two days to finish a bottle of soda. And so that's why I grabbed the bottles instead of the cans so that it wouldn't go to waste. For coffee, I did get two of these uh, vanilla creamers. These were $1.84 a piece. Hopefully this will last me a long time since I will be transitioning over to a little bit of soda, which I know is not good for me, okay? I have a ton of water that I can also drink. It, it's mainly to get a little bit of caffeine in me without drinking my calories. All right, also for food, I picked up this three pound bag of sweet potatoes. These were $2.64. I will have these probably for dessert. I love sweet potatoes with a little bit of brown sugar and cinnamon. 
I grabbed some better than bouillon. This is the vegetable base. This was 338. I'll use this to make rice and also to drink. So I won't just be drinking soda, but I do put these little flavor packets in my water. I've got one blackberry lemonade, one sweet tea. These are 10 calories per little pack. For rice, I want to make some fried rice this week. I grabbed some low sodium soy sauce. This was 272. I was really wanting the Walmart brand, but they were out. And then for snacking, I grabbed these 100 calorie packs of popcorn. I've got one butter and one kettle corn, so a little salty, a little sweet. These were $3.38 a piece. Um, I'll go ahead and um, I should have, well, I did record, I don't know if I will insert it, what my pantry and fridge and freezer are looking like. So I will insert that clip now so that you guys know that I, I do have plenty to eat and this is just a supplemental haul. If you're new here, I am moving in about a month. I am moving halfway across the country and so I am trying to eat through all of the food that I currently have on hand because I'm not going to be moving it with me. So um, anyway, I am going to insert that clip now of my pantry, freezer, and fridge so you guys know what I have on hand. It will also include um, my meal plan and meal ideas for the week. Hey guys, I am getting ready to get a grocery list together and I thought I would share with you what I have left on hand. This is it for my dry food. I am down to one shelf. So if you're new here, I am moving in a little over a month. And so I'm trying to make sure that I eat everything that I have because I'm not going to be moving my food with me. So in this little basket here, I have rice and beans. There's lentils, quinoa, um, there's navy beans black beans, got all sorts of beans and rice, uh, legumes and stuff in here. In this basket, I have some pancake mix, some syrup, cream of wheat. There is oatmeal back in there. For my fats, I have tahini. I have some olive oil and some vegetable oil. I have some vegan protein powder and some PB2. I have two cans of chickpeas, one can of diced tomatoes, one can of diced chilies, and then great northern beans and black beans. In, in my small refrigerator, literally there's nothing in the freezer except for ice. And in the refrigerator portion, I have a water pitcher and water bottles. That's all I keep in this refrigerator. Here is the refrigerator. Up top here in the freezer, I have a couple of smart ones, frozen dinners, a healthy choice. I have three of these taco soups. So I make this stuff in my Instant Pot. I put it in quart size bags. I keep it flat so that it takes up as little room as possible. So three uh, servings of taco soup. These are lentils. I have four servings, two servings of pinto beans, and this is the vegan cheesy sauce that I make. I made it a couple weeks ago and froze what was left over. Over here I have um, edamame, cauliflower, and just some mixed vegetables and an ice pack. On top of the fridge I have potatoes left over. I didn't even open the bag last week and some yellow onions. And in my refrigerator, let's see here, I have some coffee creamer, salsa, some eggs left, vegan mayonnaise, dill relish, that's my dog's food, two containers of hummus. I have some apples, some veggies. There is cherry tomatoes, uh, mini cucumbers, and carrots down there. And then in the side of the fridge, I have some processed American cheese. This is some yeast, garlic, ketchup, lemon juice, and coconut aminos. Don't know if I mentioned ketchup. 
some unsweetened almond milk, and some sriracha. This is all I have on hand right now. Okay, so I, I had already started my list, but I just thought I would show you how I go about preparing my grocery list. So from the items that I have on hand, I can make fried rice because I do have uh, plenty of brown rice and I have those mixed veggies. So I can do a fried rice, uh, smashed chickpeas, which is just some, um, a can of chickpeas. You drain the aquafaba, add a little bit of vegan mayonnaise and some relish and add that to toast. Toasted bread is amazing. I've got four servings of lentils, the taco soup, the pinto beans, cheesy sauce, and frozen dinner. So I already made a list of that. And then my breakfast items that you saw, shakes, oatmeal, cream of wheat, and pancakes. And so thinking about what I want to make, um, the smashed chickpeas, the only thing I don't have, I do have bread in the freezer. I don't think I mentioned it, but surely you saw it. So I do have some bread. And the only thing I really need for that is red onion. And so I think, and I do have potatoes. Did I put potatoes on here? Oh yeah, cheesy sauce. So I do have the potatoes. So this is how I just build my, uh, my menu plan based on what I have. I make sure that I have enough to last me. And so the only thing I don't have on here is potatoes. So we'll say taters and cheese, which is that cheesy sauce I made. So that's, so how many servings do we have here? Quite a bit of rice. Oh, I also have, I can do rice and veggies because I do have the cauliflower and I also have the carrots. So I have how many options here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six, lots of dinners, seven, eight. So eight different, you know, meal ideas that I can, um, that I can prepare over the next week. Now I won't eat all of this and I'll have a lot of this frozen stuff left over, but this is how I built the list. I think I only need red onions uh, to make the meals and better than bouillon. Better than bouillon. All right, guys, that is everything for this Walmart haul. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at.